Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you why I sold my Chanel Jumbo Double Flap. It was the caviar with the silver hardware. Um, and you can probably see right here that I replaced it with the medium large. And I wanted to share with you guys my thoughts about the Jumbo, why I sold it, do I regret it, um, why I went with the medium instead, and yes. So if you are interested in hearing about my decisions, then please keep on watching. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Shauna. I put up videos twice, once or twice a week. Um, and I'd love to have you back, so consider subscribing. Anyways, let me just say that I am in my car because we are quarantined and I have my two kids home and my husband. So basically this is the only peace and quiet that I am gonna be getting. Um, so anyways. Let's just jump right into it. So, I purchased my jumbo flap. Um, it was in 2017, I think. Yes, yeah, so it was three years ago. I was so excited about it. It was my first Chanel bag ever. Um, it was a bag that I never thought that I would actually own. And so it was a pretty serious purchase for me. I ended up buying it from a consigner in Canada and I saved, I think at the time, maybe it was like $5,200 retail. So I saved, I paid $4,500. Um, so I saved a little bit of money plus tax that would have been over a thousand dollars. And, um, I absolutely love the bag. I went for the silver hardware because in my opinion, I think it's more modern than the gold. I just find that the gold is a little bit more ladylike, I guess, and I feel like the silver fits my personal style personal style much better. Um, what's funny is I actually prefer wearing yellow gold jewelry, but for some reason, I only like, or I mainly like with um, black bags, I prefer silver hardware. Anyways, I wore the bag literally less than 10 times in the past three years. And um, I am a mom of two, so at the time I actually just had my son. Um, so I do, you know, I'm running around with the kids, whatever. Um, but obviously when I go to work and when the kids are in school or in daycare, you know, I'm, I don't have two little kids with me. So basically what I'm trying to say is, whether you're your mom or not a mom, consider my um, thoughts on this bag so basically in my opinion it is the most annoying bag ever literally annoying like to get in and out of it is just annoying the fact that it's very square and boxy is annoying um, it kind of like sticks out it doesn't even sit in the right place and when I went to go decide on purchasing this bag I went into the store and I tried on the medium and the jumbo and the jumbo definitely looks really good on my frame for reference I'm 5'7 um, and if you guys are not following me on Instagram definitely check me out there because I do have some modeling shots of the jumbo on me there um, and my name there is trendy thread underscore but um, what was I saying oh yes so when I tried it on, the jumbo looked much better on me and I figured because, I mean, I wouldn't say much better, but it, it looked good on my body and I liked that it was a big statement piece, even though it wasn't too big. Um, but, and then I was thinking with my lifestyle with kids, um, having that extra room is ideal as opposed to what would fit in the medium large because I don't know, I, I don't, I really don't carry that much with me, but I was just thinking future. So anyways, I went with the jumbo and yes, it is so annoying to wear. Um, and I know that there is a single flap jumbo, but at the time when I was thinking to buy this, I was really thinking about what is going to be a better investment and what's going to hold its shape best. So basically, I don't know. I think that that bag looks so good on, especially people within my height. Um, I'm 5'7", like I mentioned, but anybody like 5'5 five five and, and taller, I find that it looks the best on. And of course, if you're shorter than 5'5", five five, it still looks really good on you. But I feel like the taller you are, the better that that bag looks as opposed to the medium size. Um, and I definitely have to say that the only thing I miss about that bag is 
the way it looks. It just, it, it looks like a statement piece. It just completes every outfit. And I'm not going to say that this bag doesn't complete your outfit because, I mean, it's a freaking gorgeous Chanel bag and I find that the medium large is the most classic. Um, so of course this is going to elevate any look, but something about that jumbo look is, to me, I don't know, it just, nothing compares to that. So um, as far as purchasing the jumbo, or purchasing a Chanel bag, I prefer to go to the pre-love route because in my opinion, the prices are just out of control and I honestly can't afford it. Um, so if you are thinking about doing it, I would go the pre-love route, but definitely take in consideration how it sits on the body. Um, I'll try to insert pictures of it on me here. How it sits on the body, the fact that it's really, really heavy. Um, even if you don't fill it up, it's still pretty heavy because it has the double flap and the chain is a lot thicker than the medium large um, chain. But it sits pretty boxy. It's very annoying to get in and out of. I'm sorry if you guys own this bag and a lot of people love it. I, I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It just, to me, the way that it f just like clunked around on my body, whatever. So the reason why I went with the medium large is because you can wear it crossbody. And even though I am tall, it does sit like a high crossbody. Um, but personally, I like that look. It's a lot lighter and I honestly find that it fits quite a good amount. I will, um, I'll either be showing that at the end of this video, what it fits, or I'll do another video about that. Um, but I find that for my lifestyle, I'm not using, I'm not wearing, I'm sorry, I'm not bringing that many things with me. So the medium large is perfect for that. Now, do I regret selling the jumbo? I don't regret it. However, like I said, I do miss that statement look. So now I am considering picking it up in the single flap. If I find it at a really, really, really good price, I'm not going to jump on it. Let's be real, guys. We are stuck at home and we're not going anywhere, so I don't need to rush on buying it. Plus, I'm out of work at the moment. Our salon is closed, so... You know, those funds are pretty tight right now, unless I'm considering to sell some things. I actually am selling um, some shoes and stuff, so if you guys want to check out my Poshmark, I'll leave that below as well. Um, I also sell on my Instagram. So I definitely want to pick it up in the single flap. Now my issue is, as I mentioned, I don't really love the gold hardware. So I'm pretty sure it's stupid to get two in the same exact lambskin and silver. However, I found, I mean, not lambskin, caviar and silver hardware. Um, I've actually heard of other people or I've seen other people have the same bag, same combo, but I feel a little bit guilty about it inside because it's such a high priced item. Um, and I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm really a little bit afraid of the lambskin because as I mentioned I am a mom of two and I am always running around and I really don't take that great care of my bags of course I'm cautious with my expensive bags but I'm not like scared to put it down on a table or something like that um, and I love the look of lambskin but then again I also have my YSL Lulu bag and it has similar leather similar look to it so unless I sold that bag, I don't know. I think it might be too similar. Um, by the way, if you guys are interested in hearing about the Lulu bag, I'll link that down below as well. Um, but I don't know, guys. If I can find it in like the high 2000 range or even less, I'll jump on it in a decent condition. But I'm seeing most of them go for like about 3500 And you are definitely saving a lot of money because... If you were to find a jumbo, jumbo double flap, they're starting at 4,500 and up in good condition, um, full set. So yeah, guys, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, please let me know what you guys think about me getting the same combination for the jumbo single flap. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And also if you guys own any lambskin bags, I would love to hear what you guys think about it. If you own a single flap, please let me know. And if you own a double flap and, and a single flap, please let me know as well. And let me know if you find that you are wearing the single flap more than your double flap. 
um, thank you guys so much for watching I really hope to see you guys again so please subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you in my next one um, definitely look out for a in-depth review um, on what fits inside this bag in another video thanks guys bye